What is going on guys, it's me Liquid Truth, and welcome to the start of a new series. This is Dragon Crown. Out in 2013 on, I believe, PS3, produced by Atlas, developed by Vanillaware. It's a side-scrolling, arcade-style, beat em up with like RPG elements, and it's one of my favorite games of this kind of genre. There's not enough games in this genre, to be honest. But we're going to give it a try. We now have access to PS3 games on the channel. You must select a character with select player to go on an adventure. So yeah, you can play this with up to four people on one console. Ready for this. Let's go. Look at the character art, dude. Look at her. It's time. Look at how she's designed. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to, I was uh, admiring uh, the scenes. Look at this. Look at this lady's thighs, dude. They're, the character art is so crazy. Dwarf, wizard, sorceress, Amazon. Hmm. Fighter. Strength A, conditioning A. We're gonna go with the fighter then. Or wait, his name is Newton? What's her name? Melinda. One Simus. Ada. Elaine. Let's go. Lewis. These might not be their names. They might just be the names they're picking. Yeah, they pick different names each time. Okay. So those are not their it's names at all. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the fighter. Her name will be Innocent. No, I don't want a shield. All right. Just pure damage build. Caked up. Look at how big her thighs are, dude. That's insane. Go English Felice and we're going. Let's start. You seated yourselves and called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Granny, is in a particularly good mood. Quaffing the bar's spirits buoyed your spirits. When things are lively, Granny will recount a certain tale. You were an adventurer just starting out and didn't know right from left it was then that you first met dude atlas makes such good games beginning basic tutorial basic movement move with the left stick jump with x hold square to dash while moving evade with r1 normal attacks And then sliding us down. Uh, there we go. Strike up in the air. Is that not up? That was up. Uh... How do we get you in the air? What? There we go. Let's hold square to guard. Character's guard may be penetrated if they're struck by a strong attack or a powerful combination. Success. Power smashes can only be used when you have a weapon. A weapon that you stabbed in the ground cannot be used until the X over it is emptied. Oh, it gets smaller, I see. Special equipment such as crossbows can be taken from enemies or treasure caches. Press triangle to pick it up, or press square to use it while it has what? uses remaining. All right, now we just defeat the goblins.
items in your item slots. And you press down. Yeah, I described this game as like Double Dragon with RPG elements and equipables. When you use an item, there will be a cooldown before you can use an item again. You use an equipment item in your inventory it will replace your current equipment. Food will sometimes appear when you defeat enemies or destroy characters. Once you've obtained food, you'll be eating it automatically. Once you stop moving and attacking, eating food will restore up to 150% of your maximum health. Nice. Move to the Shall next stage. That door for you? The rogue Rani inquired, after appearing from out of nowhere. He thought that it would be a simple matter to take advantage of your naivete and pocket some coin. Door is locked. You can order Randy the Rogue to open it for you. Move the cursor. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Move to the next stage. I think it's the same thing for chests. Yeah. Treasure. We'll go ahead and equip the crossbow. Just for free equipables. These games are so fun, dude. And if you know what you're doing, they're so good. Somebody else should get this game. I think we can play it online these days. Because I think there's like net play on the PS3 emulator. I mean, on my base PS3 that I'm playing on. This ends the basic tutorial. Since that point, you've been journeying under mutually beneficial terms. You handle combat, and Rani handles locks. And you can get AI companions in the game too, so it is still fun. I mean, it's fun to play by yourself anyway. Leave tavern. Vanilla Ware. You came to Highland as an adventurer. Like many of your fellows, you strove to challenge the dangerous labyrinths here. The labyrinths were every bit as perilous as you'd heard. Most were lucky to even have their bones exit the ruins. You don't currently belong to the guild. I recommend registering. You can get jobs there and learn skills. And now go to the Adventurer's Guild. Clad in full armor, the Guildmaster, Samuel Joseph, stands in the center of the guild hall like a statue. He appraises you with a look and dismissively states that only worthless adventurers leave their equipment in disrepair. Your travels thus far have left your equipment positively thrashed. You resolve to rectify that before returning. The Guildmaster directs you to Morgan's Magic Item Shop. The magician is even able to repair magical equipment. You can now go to Morgan's to Magic Item Shop. By the Adventurer's Guild, you must first repair your broken equipment. <gasps> Whoops. You conquer a labyrinthine set of stairs. <laughs> Dude, look at this lady. She's hot as fuck. And which welcomes you to her establishment. There is no object's repair which does not fall under her purview. From ornate magic staves to rusted axes. What do you need? You, lady. Shit. Which one do you want? Uh, the poleaxe. Adventurers come here not only for repairs, but for appraisals and to purchase magic items. You will visit Morgan often. I sure will. Start menu is now available. You can open it with start or by clicking 
the player. Your equipment is now unmarred. You should return to the guild and see if the guildmaster deems you worthy. Once again, the guildmaster Samuel Joseph stands in the center of the guild hall like a statue. With your equipment now in tip-top condition, you request to join the guild. Samuel issues you a test of skill. Oh. What will you do? Eagerly accept the entry exam. Ask the guildmaster for details. State that you are overqualified for the test. Or eagerly accept. Your test is to help a warrior named Roland. Samuel says that you can find him in the ancient temple ruins. Town map is now available. You can hit it with select. To we can go to the gate. For the guild master, you head to the ancient temple ruins to assist the warrior, Roland. Dude, this lady's thighs are crazy. Don't look, kid. Avert your eyes. A magic gate was recently found in the ruins on the outskirts of town. Use that to reach your destination. <laughs> that song is so sick. Many things lie within the ruins of the old Elysian Temple. Some quiescent, some far less so. An ancient oh. dragon spoken of in myths is said to have destroyed the Elysian civilization in one Defeating night. enemies and picking up score items will earn points. These points will become experience at the end of the adventure. Say so you want the most points and items? Whoa. You liberated a fairy that was trapped in a cage. What does that mean? Something here? No. How much does it cost to open this? I got it. Simply. They're here. Treasure ranks. When you open a treasure chest, you will obtain ranked equipment. Once you return from the dungeon, you'll be given the chance to appraise, keep, or sell the equipment you gained. I forget, because, yeah, the incentive is to, like, oh, get out of there, is to uh, grind for, like, best ranked gear. Yeah, you don't want that. You have made your way to Roland. At the guild's behest, he is looking for adventurers who went missing in the ruins. For you to pass your guild exam, you must help him. Roland tells you to search in the ruins that are submerged in water. Much time has passed since the missing were last seen. I think they give you a choice. Bring back their bones if they are found dead. Okay, not here. Oh, you got me. What? You better not be picking up my loot, Roland. Fucker. What is that? Knocking loot down. Uh, unlock that. Ooh. And unlock this. It's my turn. Uh, let's go in here. The Orc army is apparently getting here via a water pool. Their cargo is various articles from ships that had been reported missing. Get wrecked. An egg? 
Give me that. You unlock that while I eat my apple. Whoa, we're getting more than 100% health. 362. We only have 300 health. We went up to 386. That's what I like to see. Arbalist. It's over here. Treasure. Treasure. I've been playing tons of JRPGs lately. I got my eyes ready to see the shiny things. I know how it works. Yeah, dude, I love Atlas. And I haven't even played the Persona series, mostly because those games are like so long. They're like the Zelda Breath of the Wild of JRPGs. I mean, not in style, mostly in that they just take like hundreds of hours. Oh shit. I see you. I see your shadow. Unlock this. Yes. But yeah, I'll definitely end up trying them. I've been playing a lot of RPGs lately. I also got like Disgaea 6. Dude, there's so many, there's so many good games out there. Every time I see people are just like, damn, dude, gaming sucks. It's like, I mean, the average modern games aren't the best these days. I'll give you that, of course. That's, I don't even think that's a hot take to have, but it's like, there's so many games out there that I guarantee you like and haven't played. So to complain about the lack of games just seems so silly. Because, like, people will have, like, a backlog of, like, 200 games that they haven't played. Oh, wait, dodge. And, and still be like, oh, dude, I'm, oh, there's no games out. I need games. It's like, you, the last time the seven games you wanted came out, you didn't even play them. Or finish them. And, I mean, I'm very guilty of that because, like, I love the hell out of this game. I have, like, 50 hours in this game on PS3, but I've never finished the game, like, got to the final boss can pick up bones the bones of a missing adventurer sometimes the dead have been known to leave behind a message right before they perish thought he was going to have more dialogue oh shit what what? <laughs> Come on, get up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, I have to be slick. My weapon's down for a couple seconds. Don't let him hit you. Yeah, being able to like string combos together is so sick. There's a game that was like this, but it was based in China. It was like based in ancient China. It's like Knights of the something. I used to play it at the, at UFO Arcade all the time in Austin. Oh shit, a boss. Bird boss. Bird. Oh, I tried to dodge. Oh. I think I have to dodge way earlier. Oh shit. Wasn't successful. See if I can dodge this one. Yes, I did. So it is successful. It's just that the bird's hitbox is way bigger. No, we can't die on our first try. Oh, no. Remember, we have healing. I missed the dodge. Grab your weapon. Over here. Nice try. Get dodged. Eat the apple. Dodged. I think we got to hit a little bit. How 
did my weapon fall? Eat the apple. We're over here. Nice try. Get dodged, nerd. Uh oh. Dodge. You're not slick. All right, get out of there. Ah! Try to run. Not today, Satan. Ow! Get wrecked. <laughs> there seem to be more nests. Kill that bird. This one spread throughout the area. You exit the area, taking care to avoid drawing the attention of any other harpies. Dude, look at this XP screen. Spoil screen. You can appraise unknown items that you claimed from treasure chests. You can also sell your unwanted spoils. So we have 2k gold, 2,651. And it shows you the requirements, like your, uh, like certain things only go for certain classes. Like obviously we couldn't use a staff. Glasses, well obviously I'm boost like intelligence, so these are for sorcerers. So these instant sell because we don't have any sorcerers so these this is level two and rank c so this is better we want that enemy item drop rate and boosted damage to demonic foes attack three to seven sometimes three to seven one to five yep see this was not even worth it although then you can start going what you want instead. This one has knockback chance. Or how you see it has damage to demonic foes. You can keep certain items knowing you're going to face like, oh damn, this boss is a demon. So then you can keep that item to switch to, to be like, yeah, we'll do extra demon damage, blah, 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 blah. I like the, the level of versatility it allows. Guess we'll go ahead and appraise all of these. So you don't have any rings or necklaces equipped. Um, six defense versus five. Sell the five. Five defense versus three. Bracelet and a ring, those are separate. I wonder if we can equip all of those. Oh yeah, we have to keep them. All right, cool. You've obtained equipment. Open the start menu and equip you from equipment. The request. Report your work to dude, the look at this. <laughs> look at this lady, dude. He, the character designer is crazy. The most horny person of all time. <laughs> start menu. In the start menu, you can change the equipment to use on your adventure, or check out the armory, which holds all the items you've obtained. <laughs> Dude, what? This is distracting. I forgot what I was even opening this menu for. Equip equipment. The ring. Oh, you can only have the ring or the bracelet. The charm is better. Okay, I'll keep the charm. Wait. This is six. What do you mean I don't meet the... Oh, I have to be level three. I got it, I got it. That's one to five. Three to seven, that's an upgrade. Downgrade. All right. 
Go to the Adventurer's Guild. You return to the Guild to report your quest. However, Samuel gives you an additional task. What? It is possible to resurrect the dead with their bones. He tells you to go to the temple to attempt the resurrection ritual. Canaan Temple is a temple dedicated to the worship of the goddess Althena. Proceed there immediately. Can now go to the Canaan Temple. To attempt to resurrect guild members at Canaan Temple. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of help, a monk says, and approaches you. The prayer of the monks sometimes restores the dead to life. The goddess bestows mercy to those whose time has not yet come. Wandering one, how can I help you? Resurrect Ernest. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. The prayer reaches the goddess, and the pile of bones is made new. The adventurer pledges their allegiance to you as thanks. Any adventurers you resurrect will wait for you at the inn. You can now fill out your party with those who are waiting at the inn. Hell yeah. Please be aware that if you leave an area and one of your party has fallen, they will become lost. If you encounter any bones during your questing, be sure to bring them back and resurrect them so that they can assist you. Yeah, so that's how you can get AI companions. Hmm. Let's go. Now we got a sorcerer. You have fulfilled the request. Report your work to the <gasps> guildmaster. Hell yeah. Dude, look at this lady's titties. Oh my god. This is crazy. Look at this. Watch. Look when you do that and then you stop how our, our titties like jet out. I mean, it makes sense because gravity, but it's just... It's insane. This is distracting, dude. Find guild members. You completed a quest and received your reward. After delivering your report, you think you see part of a smile cross Samuel's face. You are now registered with the guild. You may now get cooperation from guild members. They may participate in your party and help you in completing quests. The Adventurer's Guild has a backlog of quests because many adventurers are occupied with the Dragon's Crown rumors. The king and his retinue left to find the Dragon's Crown and are missing. Many guild members are now searching for them. The existence of this crown that supposedly controls dragons is disputed, but the king was obsessed with finding it. Samuel hurriedly assigns you a new task. You get the feeling that he deems you reliable and trustworthy. It's a request from this country's Prime Minister. The quest's details will be provided at the castle. You wonder about Ooh. the lives of the powerful people in that grand castle. You happily accept the job. Now select Learn Skill and select Quests. Hmm. Go back. When you learn a skill, the player's skills will be strengthened. You can earn skill points by leveling up or through completing quests. So yeah, you can boost just like strength and stuff like that, like attack points. You have to be level five for those, or we can boost our class skills, which were the Amazon class. I don't think we can do any of that. Yeah, we can't do either. What about some quests? You can accept quests from the guild here. Completing quests will earn you valuable rewards. New quest has been added. Help the honey buzzards. We've seen a dramatic increase in the wasp population in recent days. 
Some of our top scholars believe that this, is wasp, or that this wasp explosion is due to the decline of honey buzzards. The scholars postulate that orcs have taken up residence in the ancient temple ruins and are hunting the buzzards for food. Without the buzzards consuming the wasps, the wasp population is growing unchecked. If their supply chain can be broken, the orcs residing in the ruins will be forced to leave, thus allowing the buzzard population to rebound. Oh wait, hold on. Destroying a recent orc shipment in the harbor should be enough to encourage the orc's relocation. Ranny can open the door to the harbor. Oh, we, we saw the harbor last time we were there. Nice. And we can get a quest from the castle. Request from the guild. You must go to the castle for further details. Flanked by guards, you are led through the secure castle. Princess Vivian and Prime Minister Gustav awaited you. Dude, they're so... I fucking love this game so much. One, the gameplay is absolutely amazing, which is the pinnacle, like, that's the key for fighting games. That's what you're here for. Or not fighting games, like these kind of arcade beat-em-ups. But the way that they parse out the story is they give you just enough to where you're like, all right, this is, this is good. In contrast to the silent princess... He asks you to swear to keep this matter secret. And it allows them to, like, put all their resources elsewhere. The royal scepter has been stolen. A witness who saw the thief described him as Tomit, a known bandit. Ooh. Your job is to track down Tomit and retrieve the scepter. Also, for the sake of the kingdom, this must be kept secret. Ranny whispers that he knows of this Tomit. He is well known and is based out of the old capital. You bow and leave the throne room. In order to retrieve the royal scepter, you chase the thief into the ruins of the old capital. All right, off we go. To the ruins we go. Every once in a while, there's some, like, very minor gra uh, graphical hitches in the backgrounds. But I think that's just, like, problems with the interlacing, because it's, like, very not defined lines of water textured areas. You may now revisit areas that you've cleared. So you can go to the old capital. Damn, why is it taking so long to scroll? Wait, we can go to the old capital or where? Is that it? Does it take that long to scroll to go to the same area? Oh, or the ancient temple ruins. Mm. We'll go ahead and do our quest first. Many things lie within the ruins of the old Elysian temple. May now press Some start to check on your currently accepted requests or end your adventure. The ancient temple ruins. Cool. An ancient dragon spoken of in myths is said to have destroyed the Elysian civilization in one night. Yeah, you guys are done for. Don't touch our stuff. Then eventually, I think the main thing is you have to find like a bunch of seals for some dragons. Which I think I found like seven of them. I think you need nine or maybe twelve. And I was only able to find a couple of them. I think you get them from beating bosses. And this came out literally the same year as Resonance of Fate. So this was the year I was playing a bunch of, like, Japanese RPGs. So I think I just kind of gave up. But I still have that exact PS3. Like, it's still literally plugged up in my room. You did not hit me. It's my Unlock turn. that. Done. Then unlock that. But yeah, eventually you get like the ability to click runes and do special abilities. And that's what like these type of things are for. These like inscriptions on the wall, you have to click them in a certain order and then you can like the activate certain abilities. 
I know that's how they're getting here. Oh, so I guess, yeah, the main quest was to destroy their food. Oh, shit. A trap. All right, well, I'm standing away. Treasure. Filthy Luca. <laughs> he says that all the time. See if we can finish this and our first actual request from the guild in the same episode. Where's the other one? Get that for me, sir. Filthy Luca. Oh. All right. Well, I'm out of here then. <laughs> Thought you guys had a treat. Oh, jump over that. What do you mean, quit it? You jumped onto that yourself. Quit it. Nobody made you do that. I wonder if there's difficulty settings in this game. Can't check here. I don't think there is. I think the difficulty is just going to higher levels. Got some more bones. Oh yeah, if the harpy's in here, we can definitely go to the other lady and do the actual mission after this. Get him. Got lucky. Yeah, the Stratus to chain uh, launchers and knockdown so they can't attack you. Which is why I like the bosses, because then they try to be like, well, good luck. Do that on the boss, bitch. Can't get a knockdown on the boss. Eat the apple. Yeah, you're done for, dude. Oh. Nice. Oh, dodge out of there. Oh no, my weapon fell. I wonder if I can do this. Ah, oh, I timed it wrong. I threw my weapon right before the bird got up. Oh, dodge. You see how she does that cake slam? She does like the ass cheek slam. Oh, oh, I evaded it. Get wrecked. There seem to be more nests similar to this one spread throughout the area. You exit the area. Taking care to avoid drawing the attention of any other harpies. Ooh. Level up. And we finish the quest. But most importantly, two rank B items. So we're going to appraise these. Three to seven, a crit, damage to Draconic foes, counter with fire. Three to seven or five to nine? Well, I think we know where we're going. Square to obtain. Wait. Yeah, I think we already obtained what we needed, right? In order to retrieve the royal scepter, you chase the thief into the ruins of the old capital. Hmm, you're back. Nice. 
art you obtain from quests can be viewed at any time by selecting gallery option, the gallery option in the guild. Cool. Honey buzzards. An advanced detachment of orc troops. Oh, we already read that. Level up for the quest. Nice. Okay, so we have five skill points. Uh, aerial attack, which combines a knockdown attack with a shockwave. Brutal drive, power smash, and shockwaves are strengthened. Parry. Punisher. Deal multiple forehead combos on the ground will increase damage and chance of berserk. Oh, I didn't notice the requirements on the right. Aerial attack, which combines a knockdown. So I guess the ones we can get are growing. Strength uh, strength increases as HP decreases. Attack an enemy multiple times consecutively for increased attack power and speed. One point in that. Power smash and shockwaves are strengthened. Parry enemy attacks at temporary invincibility. Hold square right before parrying. I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but if we can, it's going to be nasty. Nope, nope, nope. Go to common. Increased chance of taking enemy down while sliding. Picking up coins recovers HP. Picking up coins adds to score. Increases max HP. Increases the healing effectiveness of food. And we have one more point. Picking up coins recovers HP. In order to retrieve the royal and then now we do the quest the for the guild. Into the ruins of the old capital. Wait. Usually they don't do it like that. Like usually they let you keep the, uh, the, old capital. the people that you resurrect unless they died. I don't think my my companion didn't die. Can we bring him back? Time. There we go. I don't know why he went away. In order to retrieve the royal scepter, you chase the thief into the ruins of the old capital. I'm not going to worry about resurrecting that old... Oh my god, dude, look at her titties. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about resurrecting that other guy right now, because I don't really need another companion. And I don't want too much, because it's already... There's not enough difficulty. Capital. These are the ruins of the ancient capital city. Whoa. It was destroyed following an invasion from the Northern Empire. Whoa. Now it is a dangerous place full of dragons and wyverns. Wyverns. That bitch. <laughs> I mean, that was cute. You tried, you know. Hats off for trying. Ooh, it seems like, yeah, you have to do a sweep. That's why things aren't glowing. You have to do like a sweep with this first. It's an interesting nuance. Shit. Thanks for the cheese. Ah. Uh, Get evaded, I think. Oh. Damn, I think they restore like one point of health each. But I mean, that's fine. Can't make it OP. We have some food, though. No, don't do that. I hate when he does that because then you can't open the box. Oh, we still got the treasure. Never mind. Fucking scorpions.
Stop touching stuff. Oh, he's trying to steal my treasure. Open this. Oh, shit. Don't touch him. I think he can die if he tries to open stuff and he gets, like, killed. And then you can't get him until after the dungeon. You find the bandit Tomic in a hideout amid the ruins, just as Rani told you. It is said that whatever this man desires, by thievery, he can acquire. Rani asks, are you Tomic, the bandit legend? Beaming. He displays his spoils and tells the tale behind each item. Ooh. When you ask about the scepter, he says, That was indeed I. And goes on to boast exactly how he got into the castle. When you inquire further about the scepter, he deduces your true intentions and darts away. You coward. Pursue the thief, apprehend him, and reclaim the scepter. And get him. You cannot capture a target swimming underwater. Ah. Watch for your quarry to surface. What? You knew you had to jump, dude. Oh. Ooh, I'm going to see if I can parry. I parried that time. Hold on. Maybe pairing fish I can't see isn't the best option. You coward, get over here. Ooh. Treasure. We'll worry about them in a minute. Open this. Thank you. What's in here? Bunch of damn scorpions. Temporary weapons for allies. You can disarm your allies of their temporary weapons by clicking on them. That's fine. Let them have some fun. Oh, shit. Scared me. All right. Let's get out of here. Step on him. Get wrecked. They're coming. Me too, dude. You see this character art? I'm coming too. This shit is crazy. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Nice try. Trying to hit my boy. Where are the clickies? Click. Click, click. Look at how much health I have. 465 out of 330. We're ready for the boss. Come get some. Let me get that damn scepter back. Who has it? Well, the thief has it. We know that. What the fuck? Don't attack. Oh, the thief's over here. Hey. What's up with you? Can I just beat your ass?
think we have to beat his ass before we beat the wyvern because otherwise we're not gonna be able to get the item yeah jump him drop it drop the item dude not playing hard to get I know you have it I think shit's sweet but I guarantee you it ain't Get away from the... All right, my companion's gonna die. That's fine. I can't keep him alive. I'm not gonna pay for him to come back. Hey, you. Will you drop the thing? Am I tripping? Do I not need to do this? It'd be pretty funny if I don't. Because I could have killed the Wyvern by now, but I was focusing on him. Dude, you don't want this. I, I know the combos. Oh. Parry real quick. You attack, and I switch sides. We call that God moding. My equipment broke. Oh, I probably didn't require repair some of my gear. I'm assuming I have to kill you. You keep killing my companion. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> I did not need to kill Tomet. Damn it! Relenting, he produces the scepter from his bag and hands it to you. Well, we got some good loot. You have reclaimed the royal scepter stolen from the treasure room of the castle. Spoils. We don't have boots. Can't use that. Or that. Sell that. You must deliver the royal scepter to the prime minister at the castle. Let's get our stuff repaired real quick. Which one do you want? Keep stuff topped off. And then must deliver the royal scepter to the prime minister at the castle. Yeah, these are an upgrade. The ring. Can we put on another ring? No, but we can wear the charm. Pool. Cool. Turn in the scepter. Get get in the good graces of the king. Once again, you are led to the throne room under guard. This time. A man stands there with a presumptuous grin. The man tells you to hand over the scepter. You tell him that you don't know what he's talking about. The man's mouth transforms into a twisted grin, and he signals his guards. They inch closer, swords at the ready. What will you do? You must bring the scepter to the proper requester. Prepare for a battle with the guards. You fall into a fighting stance. As soon as you steal yourself for battle, the Prime Minister and the Princess burst in. The Prime Minister orders the guards near you to stand down. 
The man twirls his cape and leaves, as if nothing happened. You sigh, relieved that you didn't have to shed blood in the castle to resolve the problem. The Prime Minister tells you that man was Count Dean, the younger brother of the King. He's trying to usurp the throne. Ooh. The scepter indicates the throne's heir. The Prime Minister says Dean had Tomet steal it to deny the princess the throne. The Prime Minister takes the scepter and narrows his eyes in satisfaction. He pays you for completing the request. Hell yeah. The fairy you saved in the ruins appears before you. She seems to want to take you somewhere. Where? Now go to the old tower. The fairy leads you into an old ivy covered tower. You find yourself in a cluttered room that seems to be a laboratory. Judging by the stratification of dust, much time has passed since anyone last entered this room. Letters amidst the shambles indicate that a magician named Lucane lives here. You find a message he penned on the desk. Lucane wrote that he was off to see a magician friend named Wallace in the underground labyrinth. The fairy uses various interpretive gestures to indicate that she wants you to find him. You accept her job request. All right, into the you labyrinth we go. Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician Lucane. Actually, I had to go save my game. Let's check. Yeah, there's no difficulty settings. Uh. Save. You head to Wallace's underground <gasps> labyrinth to look for the magician, Lucane. Stop telling me what to do. All right. Whoops. All right, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode here. So I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help boost engagement and help me know what content you guys are interested in. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.